Well, you'd think that someone indulging in criminal activity would attempt to cover up what they're doing, wouldn't you? That tends to be what happens, but not so the man who runs this shop in Glasgow, as Lynn Foleswood certainly found out, didn't you, Lynn? Goodness me. Yep, the, the, this is counterfeiting again that we've been looking at for several weeks now, and they are so brazen now. This guy, he started off as a, a fly pitcher in the market we showed yesterday, in the Barra's market, so he's not a nice piece of work. Mm. And then he set himself up a few years ago in this shop, and it's a proper legal shop. Shop, but everything he sells is illegal and we went to see him to see what he's got name to say. Name and shame him, what's his name? His name is Stephen Reed. Stephen and this Reed. is what happened when we went in to see him. <laughs> Stephen Reed, I'm Lynn Foldswood from GMTB. We're doing an investigation into counterfeiting sure. and you're a major well, seller of yeah, counterfeit right. product. Uh -huh, yes, that's you right. are you are yes. selling counterfeit product? Yes. Why? You know it's illegal what you're doing. You know you've been knocked off several times for it. Why are you doing it? Because I like doing it. You're making a lot of money out of this. I gather you just moved house. Where are you living now? None of your business. Bear's Den? My guy. Very expensive. Yes, very you're making expensive. a lot of money out of this. Aha. Uh -huh. You know it's illegal. Yes. But you're still doing it. You don't yes, care. That's right. Why don't you care? Because I don't. How much money do you make a year out of this? None of your business. Have you made hundreds of thousands of pounds? Go and yourself, yeah. Get out of my face, I put a f***ing spasha. Right? Don't, okay. Don't touch the camera. We've get out of my shop. Out. You should not be selling get this Get out of my shop, I put a spasha thing. Right? Don't, don't the touch door. the camera. Get out, I put a spasha. Don't, 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 don't touch anything. Get out of my what, shop. What you're doing is illegal. So what? Go and stuff your shell and your cameras, right? Okay, you don't, you don't care, do I you? don't care. That's the bottom line. Get out of the, in the shop for a stick camera up. Okay. Okay. Right. See, I'm going to try and make sure they put in the right address. It's 1373 at Gale Street. Okay. 1373 at Gale Street. Facing the art gallery. Do Make you know, sure you get there. Do you know, Stephen? Get the right location. Do you know you could go to prison for this? Whoa, do you know I'm you really could go to worried. prison? I'm terrified. You don't, you don't care that you could go to prison? I'm terrified. Look at me. <laughs> go off. The arrogance of the man is mind-boggling, isn't yeah, it? because he's been hit before and they've taken all his stock, but it's, the trouble is that Glasgow's, the courts are so busy that counterfeiting kind of gets downgraded and the, mm. one policeman has knocked off hundreds or reported hundreds of counterfeiters for prosecution and he only knows of one successful prosecution and that guy only got a year. So the counterfeiters know that at the moment they're pretty much getting away with what they want to. Here's what one of the investigators had to say. This is an investigator from the music industry who's losing a lot of money through this shop. Here's what he had to say. It's in contravention of the law. This man's committing arrestable offences. I call upon Glasgow City Council now to do something about this. These are fixed premises in the middle of Glasgow city centre and it's unbelievable that a, an illegal shop like this can flourish uh, so blatantly. So if anyone else around the country knows of shops like that flourishing and all the selling's counterfeits, do tell us and I'll give them a, a, a tip off line in a moment. Just, just a quick point, we had a couple of calls from people saying, because I know you've mentioned that the scary thing about counterfeiting is it's taking over from drugs in terms of, of this big business and, yeah. and the black market. They say they'd rather have people selling counterfeit DVDs than drugs which could affect their children outside school yeah, games. Well they're not actually stopping doing the drugs, right. they're moving into the counterfeiting as well and counterfeiting is the fastest growing crime now with seriously nasty gangs in it mm. and so you've got drugs and counterfeiting happening and the counterfeiting tends to fund illegal racketeering in people from places like China, uh, pornography, paedophilia, uh, drugs, the whole lot's wrapped up together and we're buying this stuff mm. and that is what's making the gangs flourish and there will be no go areas and there'll be turf wars and we've got to stop doing it. In fact if anyone knows of anyone doing this stuff out there the, the tip off line to ring it's 0845 it's on the screen now yeah. 603 
03-4567. Ring that, whatever counterfeit you're talking about, and they'll direct you during office hours to investigators. And that's, that's uh, anonymous as well. Uh, you can be anonymous, yeah. you can tell them your name, you can do what you like. Just tell us. Mm. Meanwhile, that chap is still getting away with it. That chap's getting away with it, and uh, I hope he doesn't get away with it for too much longer. But if anyone's thinking out there, buying counterfeits, just think about where your money's going. Mm. These are not nice people. Then, okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, back to, uh, unbelievable, uh, isn't it? Well, it is unbelievable. Yeah, it's the arrogance of it. That, that, that's the bloke that we're after. That's just that's one. But there's more, isn't there? Loads, mm. absolutely loads of them. Do you ever feel threatened when you're out there? Um, not so far. Okay. And I'd like not to be. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do.